What's up my crew members, my name is Andrew from the Superhero Crew and welcome to a new series on the channel that I'm doing where I'm going to be taking a look at exclusive minifigures that come in DVDs, books, video games, all that good stuff. Just the figure though, I'm not looking at the DVD or the video game or the thing that it comes with, I'm only looking at the figure. I want to look at the figure as a promotion or an exclusive figure to see how it is on its own and how it is as a promotion for a DVD game or book or something like that. So we're going to be taking a look at in this video the Hank Pym giant man figure poly bag that comes in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 the deluxe edition great game by the way but like I said we're not talking about the game we're talking about the figure itself but before I do take a look at the figure if this is your first time here why don't you consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this I got a lot more exclusive figure reviews planned so stay tuned and also more Lego videos so stay tuned for that stuff June is gonna be crazy for DC and Marvel sets so stay tuned for for reviews of those sets when they eventually come out and when I get them. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you like it, and uh, yeah, and also shout out to my boy Chris because he's a bitch. So anyway, let's take a look at the figure. All right, so here is the Hank Pym Giant Man figure. Now this is the first comic book accurate version of Giant Man that we've got, kind of. We've gotten Giant Man in that airport set for Civil War. We've also got Hank Pym in that Ant-Man set, movie set from a little while ago, but this is the first time we're actually getting Hank Pym in his comic outfit, or, well, one of his comic outfits. I would have preferred uh, getting the original where he's got that awesome helmet, but this is all right, I guess, for getting this character. This is a character that we've gotten before, but from the movies, not in comic book form. So it's one of his outfits. Probably my one, I wouldn't say least favorite, but one of my, I mean, it's not really recognizable. I would have preferred, like I said, the original one where he's got that cool helmet, but this is all right for what it is. The torso print is pretty nice, and the also has back torso printing as well and also back head printing as well which is really cool and I think the face print looks pretty good uh, the the face does not seem to uh, kind of there, there, there's been a problem recently uh, it seems like this is because this was from a couple years ago recently there was a problem with like, I, like, I'm, let me think uh, Captain America and like Mercy from Overwatch uh, and some of the Batmans where they would have the skin color printed over a black tor uh, black head. So this kind of looks okay. It looks a little dark, but honestly, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, also, I would have preferred having his face uh, print having the mouth shut and not showing any teeth, but it's fine. There is one thing, though, I'm disappointed about. And um, that's the legs. The legs have no printing on them. Just generic blue legs, which is a little disappointing, even though, like, I understand it's accurate. It's, it's pretty accurate to the, to the actual outfit in the comics, but that's why I would have preferred to get an Ant-Man where he's, you know, in the original outfit, that, or Hank Pym in his original outfit. That's why I would have preferred that because then we could have gotten some leg printing. So it looks very plain and weird, but for what it is, I think it's a pretty good figure. All right, guys, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy, why don't you give this video a like and check out some of the other videos that we have here posted on the channel. And if you like those videos as well as this one, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel as well. So that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.